Hey you and welcome, my name is Mike and in this video we're going to look at, well you've seen the title. In 2016 a user posted on the Ask Reddit subreddit. As you can imagine it is chock full of heartbreaking and disturbing replies, but one stuck out. A Redditor, using an anonymous throwaway account that was deleted straight after, told the story that back in the 80s, he and his friends, as children, seemingly left another child to die. They then promptly tried to forget it ever happened. The body was never found. And Reddit being Reddit, they found out who the missing person was right away. The original post, it was quickly deleted, but is anything ever really deleted on the internet? This still haunts me to this day. As kids, we had a hideout on this dirt cliff cove. There was a neighborhood kid who, in hindsight, was probably mentally handicapped in some way. But to us, he was just the weird, creepy kid. This was the 80s and we weren't exactly raised PC. Three of us were headed to our base and found creepy kid sitting at the top in our guard chair. We yelled at him to get out and he said something like, make me, and started lobbing dirt clods and sticks down at us. We all ran around the side to make our way up. It gets pretty fuzzy here, but all I remember is he fell. I still remember the sound. When we got back down to check on him, he was in a very awkward position with blood coming out of his mouth. We all just freaked out and ran home. And, as far as I know, no one has spoken a word of this to anyone. We didn't go back for over a month, and never said a word of it between us. Again, this was the 80s, so media wasn't like today. Chances are it got a small article in the newspaper B section. Missing mentally disturbed child found dead after fall, or something like that. I did ask my parents maybe 10 years ago if they remembered him, and they said something along the lines of, yeah, didn't he go missing? And that's about as far as I wanted to push it. The fact that he writes, it gets pretty fuzzy here, all I remember is he fell led many people to believe that maybe him or one of the other boys actually pushed him, accidentally killing him. So, being a pretty damn startling post, people quickly went into this user's post history. It was short but enough to find out that he resided in Missouri. Was the person who maybe died that day, Scott Clay Schulte, still missing to this very day? Scott went missing from St. Charles, Missouri on the 8th of June 1988. He was nine years old at the time. A heavy thunderstorm affected the St. Charles area on the day of his disappearance. Witnesses saw Scott out walking before a massive thunderstorm hit the neighborhood, and he was never heard from again. Six weeks after his disappearance, police conducted large-scale searches of the area near Scott's home. The searches involved digging at a labyrinth of caves in the wooded hillside where Scott was known to play with other neighborhood children. Who was the last person to see him? Um, as far as I know, family and friends would have been my older sister Stacy before she had left uh, for work and stuff. And she was there when he had come home and changed after, after school and that. So as far as I know, it was, it was Stacy. And what did Stacy see? Um, he was, the last time she had seen him, he was at the top of the hill just um, playing, running around, being a, being a kid like we did. You know, I know people say not to play in the streets, but that's where we played, up at the top of the street. And, and that's where he was. And this was a fairly urban but rural area, too. You were sort of out in the country, right, where kids just could feel free to play? <clears throat> yeah, it was a neighborhood. I mean, it was... Uh, a neighborhood full of a hundred kids probably in the neighborhood but you know right five minutes from our house was nothing um, farmlands and fields and, how, and dirt trails and stuff like that how violent was that storm late afternoon and 
did you think your brother had had just hidden to to uh, have cover? Yeah, it was it was a pretty bad storm. Um, you know, it just came and went pretty pretty quick. Um, you know, I don't think he hid necessarily like hid somewhere. We just assumed that he was inside someone's house. You know, playing inside with another friend. Um, you know, and that's just kind of then started knocking on doors on every door we could. When did your parents finally call police? Um, it was later in the evening. I can't, you know, I'm not for sure on the time, eight, somewhere around there. It was, uh, you know, before it had gotten dark. And I understand they came right out. Yeah, yeah, they were there right away, yes. So what did they do that evening and the next day and the next few days and the next week? Um, that night, I'm not, you know, it's pretty vague for me because I was, I was young. So that night, um, you know, I can't remember exactly what all, what they did. Um, but that next morning was, was full-fledged. Um, they had, had a search party set up with dogs and helicopters and horsebacks and, and you name it, you know, anything that, that you had back at that time, they, Did the person who wrote that post watch Scott die and then his body was was washed away by the massive thunderstorm that hit right after? Was he buried in a mudslide caused by the torrential rain? Over the years, many theories have sprung up about the whereabouts of Scott Clay Schulte. Some believed that he fell and drowned in a flash flood. Others suspect foul play and believe he was abducted and killed. Or was this post the final piece of the puzzle? The key identifying information was posted by one key web sleuth. I checked unsolved missing persons cases around the time period OP mentioned. Based on his age and location, I found this one. Only missing persons case that I could find that matched the description. People were then quick to alert the local police department in St. Charles to alert them of this post. After all, this could be the solution to a decades-long mystery that has haunted Scott's family since he vanished. The photo the user posted when giving this confession looked like it could possibly be a little over a mile by foot from the last sighting of Scott. That area had dirt trails and several steep gorges cutting in it until 1990. That massive thunderstorm would have caused a flash flood, wiping away anything there. Including a nine-year-old's body. Now, of course, there are three different possibilities. One, the story is fake. Two, it's a real story, but it's a different kid. And three, it's real. In the post, he describes the kid who died as having mental issues. But none of the reports regarding Scott's disappearance mention anything like that about him. But then again, this just could be his memory. Kids are weird. Though a newspaper report, it stated that he just finished first grade, which if he was nine when he disappeared, he would have been a couple of years older than the other kids in his class. Maybe he was held back because he had some kind of mental disability or something like that. However, the police confirmed that Scott was believed to have been abducted, and there are persons of interest who were implicated in the abduction. This could very likely just be a case of someone who browsed the Charlie project until he found something that matched, kinda. The information on the Reddit thread, it was forwarded to law enforcement. However, it seems the police are still going with the abduction theory. But the case is open and investigations are ongoing. Though, after 30 years, who knows what they'll find. Probably nothing. Who knows if the story was real or fake. Again, it's the internet, anyone can post anything on the internet. So you gotta take it all with a pinch of salt, but it definitely seems compelling enough to be worth investigating and looking into. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you real soon, Mike out.